Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about a classification of basic amplifiers. The learning outcome of this session, at the end of this session, students will be able to describe basic types of amplifiers. These are the contents of uh, today's uh, session. So we are going for amplifier definitions, uh, the voltage amplifier, we can define a voltage amplifier as an amplifier which amplifies mostly the voltage level of input signal and provides uh, output voltage and uh, current signal, that is a voltage amplifier. So the voltage amplifier mainly amplifies the current uh, voltage level of input signal, low level input signal at the output. And the current amplifier can be uh, defined as the amplifier which amplifies mostly the current level of the input signal and provides a proportional output voltage and a current signal. So that is a current amplifier. Now basically the power amplifier can be defined as it is a combination of uh, voltage amplifier and current amplifier. The power amplifier is an amplifier which amplifies both the voltage level as well as current level of input signal, low level input signal and provides uh, both output uh, amplified output voltage as well as amplified output current signal. So input is uh, low level AC signal and output is amplified uh, power signal. Now let us uh, go for the cl uh, classification of amplifier. Amplifiers are classified into four broad categories. So these are uh, categorized as a voltage amplifier, a current amplifier, transconductance amplifier, and transresistance amplifier. So the deciding factors for a category, a categorization of this amplifier is that the relative magnitude of the input impedance, relative magnitude or relative value of uh, the input impedance of amplifier in comparison with the input signal source impedance and the output impedance of amplifier in comparison with the output load resistance impedance. So considering input impedance and the source impedance and output impedance of amplifier and output load resistance or output load impedance, the amplifiers are basically classified into four broad uh, categories. So first category, that is first type of amplifier, that is a voltage amplifier. So voltage, the figure shows, this figure shows the equivalent circuit for a voltage amplifier in which uh, this uh, amplifier is designed to amplify uh, a voltage signal, input voltage signal. The input is a voltage signal and the output is amplified a voltage signal. So this voltage amplifier is just like uh, a voltage controlled a voltage source voltage control, voltage source. So this amplifier, uh, in this amplifier, it is required to high input impedance and low output impedance. For this voltage amplifier, it is required, required to be, the input impedance should be high and output impedance should be low. So for voltage amplifier, input signal is a voltage signal. Again, the output signal is amplified a voltage signal. So the ideal uh, voltage amplifier uh, provides uh, amplified output voltage that is uh, proportional to that is proportional to the input voltage signal and the proportionality constant the proportionality constant called as a transfer ratio or gain so that is called as a voltage gain uh, is a ratio of amplified output voltage to the input low level input voltage so the transfer ratio, forward transfer ratio or gain of this voltage amplifier that is called as a voltage gain. So that is designated as AV. It is uh, independent of, it is independent of input uh, source impedance and output load impedance. For ideal voltage amplifier, for ideal voltage amplifier, the input impedance should be infinite and uh, output impedance of amplifier should be uh, zero. So this in this equivalent circuit, uh, the input signal source voltage is Vs, 
its internal resistance is shown in series with this voltage source. Uh, Rin is an input resistance of uh, voltage amplifier and R out is the output resistance of a voltage amplifier. RL is a load connected at the output of uh, voltage amplifier. So V out stands for output voltage appearing across load resistor RL. So effective input uh, voltage for amplifier is a VIN. So from this uh, uh, figure of equivalent circuit for a voltage amplifier, it is seen that if input resistance of this voltage amplifier, that is R in, is uh, much less than the source input signal source impedance RS, in that case, the effective input uh, voltage of this amplifier VIN is approximately equal to input signal source voltage Vs. So if load resistance connected at the output of this amplifier is uh, much uh, greater than the output resistance of uh, amplifier or output impedance of amplifier. So in that case, the amplified output voltage V out, so that is approximately equal to uh, AV. AV stands for uh, the forward transfer ratio or gain of this amplifier. So that is a voltage gain, AV, multiplied by the input voltage, input voltage of this amplifier. So AV stands for a uh, voltage gain of this uh, amplifier, voltage amplifier. So it is a ratio of amplified output voltage to the input voltage V. So that is uh, approximately equal to V out upon V S. Now let us go for the second type of uh, basic amplifier. So that is a current amplifier. In current amplifier, the input signal is a current signal. And again, the amplified output signal is a, a current signal. So for a, a current amplifier, we can say that it uh, amplifier works like just like uh, current controlled uh, current source current controlled current source so in which the input impedance the input impedance of uh, current amplifier uh, should be low and output impedance of current amplifier should be high so the ideal current amplifier amplifies the input current signal amplifies input current signal and provides output uh, amplified current signal. So that is proportional to input current signal and the proportionally constant, the proportionally constant, uh, that is a forward transfer ratio designated as AI, it is uh, independent of input signal source impedance and output load resistance impedance. And uh, it is a ratio of output, output current to uh, input current. So at the input, input side of this amplifier, the uh, current source IS is connected. Uh, for, for this, uh, its uh, internal resistance is connected in a parallel, shown in parallel. And uh, the output circuit of this current amplifier, it is shown by a current source uh, whose uh, output resistance, the output resistance of this uh, amplifier. So that is shown in parallel with this uh, current source, output current of this amplifier, I out. So that is equal to the load current IL. So IL flows through load resistance RL. So the current gain of this amplifier, it is a ratio of amplified output current to the input current. So from this figure, uh, it is seen that if input resistance of this current amplifier is uh, much less than the source uh, input signal source uh, resistance RS, so in that case, effective input current of this amplifier is approximately equal to the input signal source current IS. If load resistance connected at the output of this current amplifier is uh, much less than the output resistance of this amplifier R out, so in that case, the load current IL, the cur current flowing through load IL, so that is equal to output current of this amplifier. So IL equal to AI multiplied by I in, the input current I in. So where AI stands for forward current, uh, forward current uh, transfer ratio, that is the uh, current gain of this uh, amplifier, ratio of output current to input current. So current gain is e AI equal to I out upon I in. So that is equal to load current upon input signal source current. So for uh, ideal uh, current amplifier, the input uh, impedance of this amplifier is ideally zero 
and uh, output impedance of this uh, current amplifier is ideally infinity. Now third type of uh, basic amplifier, so that is a transconductance amplifier. Uh, in this amplifier, the input signal is a voltage signal and uh, the output signal of this uh, transconductance amplifier is a current signal. So transconductance amplifier amplifies a low level input voltage signal and provides amplified output a current signal. So amplified output current signal is uh, proportional to the input a voltage signal. The proportionality constant, so that is designated as ZM, so that is uh, called as a transconductance, is uh, independent of input uh, signal source impedance and output load resistance RL, or output impedance of output uh, uh, load, load in impedance. So for a transconductance amplifier, uh, ideally, the input uh, resistance, input resistance uh, Rn should be infinite, as well as the output resistance of this transconductance uh, amplifier should be infinite. From this uh, uh, equivalent circuit of transconductance amplifier, transconductance amplifier, it is seen that if uh, input source signal, input signal source resistance RS is much less than input resistance of amplifier Rn, then input voltage of this amplifier is approximately equal to input signal, uh, input signal source voltage, Vs. And if load resistance RL is much less than output resistance of amplifier, then output load current is equal to output current of this amplifier. So that is I out, IL equal to I out, that is equal to GM multiplied by V in. So where GM stands for a transconductance of this amplifier, ratio of output to input, output uh, current upon input uh, voltage. So that is ZM multiplied by Vs. So transconductance ZM equal to the load current IL uh, divided by the input voltage, input signal source voltage Vs. Now third type of uh, this amplifier, that is trans resistance amplifier, in this input signal is a current signal and uh, output uh, signal is a voltage signal. So trans resistance amplifier amplifies the input current signal and provides output voltage signal. So that is pro proportional to the input current signal. Proportionality constant, so that is designated as RM, that is known as uh, trans resistance of amplifier, ratio of output uh, voltage to input current. So that uh, trans, conduct, trans resistance RM uh, is independent of input signal source impedance and output uh, signal, output uh, load resistance RL. So from this equivalent circuit, it is seen that if the input resistance R, Rn is much less than Rs, then Rn is approximately equal to Is. And if R out is much less than RL, then output voltage of this amplifier that is equal to Rm multiplied by Rn. So Rm into uh, Is. So gain or a uh, trans resistance of this amplifier, so that is designated as RM, so that is ratio of output voltage to input current. So that is independent of input signal source impedance and output load impedance. So for a trans, uh, for ideal uh, trans resistance amplifier, so both the input impedance and output impedance of amplifier are ideally zero. Now student can pause video here and uh, Think over this question and try to answer this question. State type of amplifier for transistor common emitter amplifier. For transistor common emitter amplifier, the type of basic amplifier is a trans resistance amplifier. Because in trans resistance amplifier, the input current is amplified at the output. So the input is current signal and output is a voltage signal. So as far as transistor amplifier is concerned, transistor is a current control device. So it uh, acts as a uh, trans resistance amplifier in common emitter circuit configuration. Now this table shows uh, the characteristic of ideal uh, amplifiers, basic amplifiers, voltage amplifier, current amplifier, transconductance amplifier, and trans resistance amplifier, their input uh, signals and output signal, and uh, input impedance and output impedance, and the ratio of output to input that is a transfer characteristics, a transfer ratio, or gain of this amplifier. 
So this is a reference. Thank you.